importunity, shameless persistence. And Christ is encouraging. If I can be, if I can say this as reverently as possible, Christ is saying, annoy God with your burdens. Annoy God with your burdens. This is driven home by verses 9 through 11. I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. That is the sense of it. It's, it's just this ongoing asking. It's not just ask once. Keep on asking, and it will be given. Keep on seeking, and you will find. Keep on knocking, and it shall be opened. And of course, you, you have, that's correlating with the illustration that has just been given. What does he do? He comes and he asks, and he seeks, and he knocks, and he keeps on. He won't give up. The asking, seeking, knock, knocking correlate with the illustration Christ has just given, which basically means he keeps doing everything he can until he gets what he needs. And of course, the glorious thing is that the answer that comes is exceeding abundant above what he could ask or think, because he asks for three, and he says he gives as many as he needed. Just take it. Go. Here you are. Open, <laughs> opens up the door, gets them in, opens up wherever he keeps the bread. He says, come on, just, just take whatever you need and get out of here. And that, that's the kind of picture. It's, it's the picture that the Lord is presenting. But what is annoying to friends is precious to the Father. What is annoying to friends is precious to the Father. He wants you to keep coming. And it may appear annoying, but He is encouraging that. Just keep coming. Keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking. Don't give up. 